In this lecture, we will discuss about velocity of different points in pure rolling. Pure rolling can be considered as superposition of pure rotation and pure translation. What is the meaning of pure translation? So let us say we have an object. And this object is moving with velocity v. After some time this object is here. So this is t is equals to 0 and this is t is equals to t. If I consider center of mass, in t time this point has travelled b into t distance. This point has also travelled same distance that is v into t. If I consider any point on this subject, this will cover same distance that is v into t. So in case of pure translation, each point of object covers same distance that is each point of object has same velocity. So all point will have same velocity. And this is linear velocity. Similarly, we have pure rotation. Let us say we have a disc and this disc is pinned at center and this disc is rotating with angular velocity omega. This is situation in t is equals to 0. and this car has rotated through some angle at t is equals to t. So let us say this point has rotated through an angle omega t. So each point of object has travelled same angular distance. Even if I consider this point, initially it is here now it will be here that is it will cover same angular distance theta that is in case of pure rotation each point of object has same angular velocity Now let us consider a disc and this disc is moving with velocity v. Now this is a case of pure translation. So due to pure translation each point of disc will have same velocity and that is v.
Now this is a case of pure rotation. Disc is moving with angular velocity omega. So each point of object will have same angular velocity omega. So we can calculate linear speed due to this rotation. This will be omega into r where r is the radius of disc. and velocity will be tangential. So linear velocity will be per perpendicular to this radius vector. Similarly here we will have now if I superimpose these two situation that is now disk is translating as well as rotating. So it will have both velocities that is linear as well as angular. Now we will consider these four points and this is a case of pure rolling. In case of pure rolling, point of contact has zero velocity. This is the point of contact. So let us consider this point due to translation this has a velocity in this direction magnitude is v due to rotation this has a velocity omega r in the backward direction so resultant velocity is v minus omega r in pure rolling point of contact has zero velocity so v minus omega r is equals to zero so we will have v is equals to omega r Now let us consider this point. Due to translation it will have a velocity in this direction v and due to rotation this will have a velocity omega r in the downward direction but omega r is equals to v so we can write this is also equals to v. So we can find resultant velocity. So resultant velocity is under root 2 v. So this is the resultant velocity. This is v, this is also v. So this angle is 45 degree. Now consider this point. Due to translation this has velocity v. Due to rotation this will have velocity omega r. Omega r is equals to v. So total velocity is v plus v. That is 2v. Now consider this point. This has a velocity v in this direction. Omega r in this direction. Omega r is equals to v. So resultant velocity is v s square plus v s square under root. So this is root 2 v. So this is resultant velocity direction and this angle is 45 degree. We can calculate resultant velocity at a general point. Let us say we want to calculate resultant velocity at this point. This angle is theta. Due to rotation, so rotation angular velocity is omega, radius is r. So tangential velocity will be omega into r and this is due to translation that is v. Now we can take component of omega r. This angle is theta then this angle will also be equals to theta alternate angle. Now this is perpendicular to this so this will be 90 minus theta. So this angle is 90 minus theta.
this and this line is perpendicular if this is 90 minus theta then this is theta so we will have component of omega r in this direction omega r cos theta and in this direction we will have omega r sin theta so velocity in x direction this is x direction this is y direction b minus omega r cos theta omega r is simply v b y is omega r sin theta omega r is v so v sin theta so we can calculate resultant velocity so this becomes so this is v resultant 1 minus cos theta whole square plus sin square theta so 1 plus cos square theta minus 2 cos theta plus sin square theta sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so 1 plus 1 2 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta by 2 so this becomes 2v sin theta by 2 so this is the resultant velocity at angle theta this velocity can be used to calculate distance traveled by a point on the rim of disk in one revolution so let us calculate the distance traveled by a point on the rim of disk in one revolution so let us say we have this point and resultant velocity is given by 2v sin theta by 2 velocity can be written as ds by dt whereas the s is the distance so we can have ds by dt is equals to 2v sin theta by 2 we can make a variable change multiply by d theta and divide by d theta d theta by dt is omega this is basically s omega into ds by d theta so we can write ds by d theta is equals to 2b and b can be written as omega r now we can integrate distance from 0 to s and theta is from 0 to 2 pi that is one revolution so integration is sin theta is cos theta minus cos theta and this is 1 by 2 limit is from 0 to 2 pi 
so this is 4 r minus cos theta by 2 0 to 2 pi when we have 2 pi this is minus minus plus 1 when 0 we have this is 1 this is 8 r so distance travelled by a point on rim in one revolution is 8 r This distance can be shown by the diagram also. So let us say we have a motion of disk. Initially this is the position of disk that t is equals to 0. After some time this is the position. After some time this is the position. If I consider the lowest point, this is the trajectory of lowest point. this curve distance is equals to 8 r if you consider this distance this is simply 2 pi r that is in one revolution the whole distance the curve distance of disk will be covered by the ground that is if I paint this disk on the rim in one revolution the length of rim will be painted on ground 